Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're here give me a big thumbs up because it really does help me out. If you didn't know I have a Patreon, it's $3 a month and it would mean the world to me if you could check it out, I post bonus videos on there that are only ever going to be shown on Patreon so please consider checking them out, I'll link it on the iCard there. So today, as you read in the title, we're going to be talking about how being suicidal almost got me a criminal conviction. And yes, you heard that right, I nearly got a criminal conviction because I was suicidal. It all starts in Preston. On the 16th of the 6th, 2018. Preston in the county of Lancashire. Let's get this, I get this right, let's read the charge. On 16th of the 6th, 2018, in Preston in the county of Lancashire, calls wasteful employment of the police by knowingly making to PC 2011 a false report to give rise to apprehension for safety of persons or property. Contrary to Section 5, Part 2 of the Criminal Law Act. 1966. 67. So yeah, I got arrested in 2018 because I called NHS 111 they phoned the police and the police determined that I wasted their time by calling NHS 111 because I was suicidal they didn't believe I was suicidal so they took me to custody now here's what happened in custody I was strip searched raped put in a self-harm cell in a self-harm suit with nothing but a plastic cup of water. They refused me bail because of risk to self. And the second day I was in custody, they had me assessed under the Mental Health Act, from which I got sectioned because of risk to self. But no, 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 they had to take me to court. And in court, my solicitor told me to go and not guilty because he believed I hadn't done anything wrong, which I hadn't. So I went not guilty. Then it went to trial. Now the trial took place in September of 2018, by which point I'd already moved to London to start university. But in court, my solicitor made an application of no case to answer due to the custody record. My solicitor used the police's own custody record to prove uh, that I had not done anything wrong and the case against me was dismissed. So honestly I really can't get over the fact that I actually got arrested because I was suicidal. Um, in my opinion I was arrested to give them an excuse to assault me. I'm not going to deny that I had a lot of involvement with the police in Lancashire. I was getting put on a 136 pretty much every day and I was just in such a bad place mentally that I couldn't stop having incidents at home. So I'd get 136 taken to the hospital, they assessed me, said I don't need to be sectioned so I could go home and it just got worse and worse to the point where I ended up getting put on a section 2 three times in two months. It bothers me that there was not a actual real reason as to why they arrested me. But yeah, they can say contra section 5 part 2 of the Criminal Law Act 1967, but that doesn't mean that that's why that's what was going on. And the way I got treated was just horrible. It's something that I'm never going to get over. And I'm saying that as a 26 year old. I was 20. I was 20 when that happened. And that fucking sucks. There were so many other things I could have been arrested for. Possession of cocaine. Drunk and disorderly. Like, there were very real things that they could have arrested me for. It's something I think about most nights. And I genuinely wish that I didn't. That's the reality of my life. I wish that Lancashire Police could at least acknowledge what they did to me. But let's just think about this for a second. What did I really do that des made me deserve that treatment? I'm not a criminal. I was suicidal. So I phoned for help. They phoned the police. I can't control whether they phoned the police or not. If I could, believe me, I would have said don't send them. Police scare me. Tav. Always will. 
I walked past two police officers today when I was in Hammersmith and I got so anxious that I literally walked the opposite side of the, the shopping centre is it called that? it's a bus station and a tube station but it's got shops hmm. I should probably find that out but yeah what did I really do wrong? what are your thoughts and opinions on this? the fact that I could have ended up with a criminal conviction because I was suicidal let me know in the comments what you think of this because it's been playing on my mind since 2018 I've never got over it but yeah thank you for watching this video and if you are new make sure you subscribe check out my patreon and I will see you in my next video peace